do a demo day, mm-hmm. uh, expose them to a few investors, yeah. uh, give some advice, yeah. uh, maybe help them set up mm-hmm. their co-working spaces mm-hmm. uh, or help them set up inside institutions like the Correct. IITs and the IIMs. Correct. So that's that's something which an incubator or an accelerator does. Yeah. Um, what a studio does is uh, probably at the other extreme. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can pretty much call a venture studio a second co-founder or a third co-founder for a company. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. That's so, a good way to put it. Yeah, and yeah. and uh, just just if I were to explain mm-hmm. the entire life cycle of venture building, the mm-hmm. first is the research or the thesis building part, which Correct. also the venture studio starts with. Yeah. Uh, do a little bit of work uh, three four weeks of work done Mm. have a conviction that we want to build in a certain space Mm. and then get an entrepreneur in residence into the system who he or she then works with us uh, for the next four to five months just carving out the problem statement understanding Mm. what's going wrong what's the status quo uh, why do we need to build this what's the real opportunity what's the solution going to be even if we were to build something is it 10x better than what the market already has to offer? Mm-hmm. Uh, is it first to market? Yeah. Uh, is there enough demand and supply issues mm-hmm. that we are trying to address? So we have this framework that we try to kind of work towards and say, okay, these are the gaps and then mm-hmm. let's build a company here. And it's a, it's a process which is super iterative, requires thousands of conversations mm-hmm. with uh, key opinion leader, leaders, uh, with patients, with consumers. Uh, what's happening in the Western world? Mm-hmm. So all that goes into a thesis building. Okay. And at that point in time, when we have conviction that yeah, this is looking great, mm-hmm. we take it to our investment committee, and then we kind of put in capital okay. and incubate the company finally. And then the capital comes from WL. Yes, okay. the capital. The first check comes from the fund. From the fund. Uh, okay. Wherein we want to give companies, uh, you know, 12 to 18 months of runway for mm-hmm. them to build it out. Okay. And I think that's when the that's when the other parts of the venture studio kick mm-hmm. into the picture. Mm-hmm. Uh, what we have is a product and a tech team. So yeah. we have a we have a tech stack, mm-hmm. uh, a customer uh, CRM, CLM, mm-hmm. uh, EHR, EMR, mm-hmm. all those tools which any healthcare startup would need are kind of built out. Okay. So all these companies from day zero can start using it. Okay. Uh, then we have a go to market team which helps uh, unlock new distribution mm-hmm. uh, channels for healthcare and mm-hmm. see healthcare is very trust based uh, you need to kind of distribute it clo- uh-huh. take it closer to the consumer uh, do stuff which can help them reach out to these startups versus yeah. not uh, you're one of the mill doctors right Correct. so that's the second element the go to market team has done it it's it's mm-hmm. uh, a bunch of ex operators mm-hmm. uh, ex founders who are running this team okay. then there's a growth marketing team around social media performance okay. anything that any company would anyway end up doing okay. rather than outsourcing it to an agency i think we are trying to build out an internal yeah. team because that it builds repeatability in the process yeah. of venture building which means that every subsequent venture that we build out yeah. uh, that journey will be that much faster mm. uh, we will not make the same mistakes correct uh, we will bring repeatability mm. and hence it's it should be slightly more efficient the next time we do it okay